Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I want to talk about a very common fungus that we have around here. Uh, it's technically, it's called take all root rot. Uh, some people will hear it called take all. Uh, you'll hear it called Bermuda decline because uh, when it's in Bermuda, you'll hear it called uh, uh, patch death, uh, grass decline, patch decline. There's several different names that you'll hear this called, but at the end of the day, it's all the same. It's a fungus. It's called take all root rot and it does exactly what the name says it rots the roots and then it takes out the grass it takes all the the the, the grass away the reason you'll hear it called uh, uh patch spot and other things is because it it dies and, it, and, and you'll notice and i'll show you some pictures it has very irregular shapes unlike brown patch which is another fungus that has very regular shapes regular circles symmetrical circles this is very irregular and it, it dies in, in very patchy areas. So the, the way to notice it, the way to spot it, is you'll the, the first signs that you're gonna start seeing are the grass is gonna start turning lime green and you'll have little bitty spots, maybe the size of a baseball, you're gonna start noticing uh, dead grass. So the way this fungus works is, is that it, uh, it's at the base of the actual blade of grass down where the, the, the blade meets the root system, if you will, and that's where all the death starts happening. And the reason that take all root rot tends to be more deadly than others is because you typically speaking the fungus has progressed and has been around longer before you actually realize it therefore you react later uh, the treatments aren't as effective uh, depending on the timing that you get them in so with brown patch it affects the actual blade you see it sooner you can get on top of it take all root rot it affects the actual blade of uh, the root system and then you as the the blade starts dying which tends to happen uh later through the life cycle of the fungus that's when you start noticing it and and you've got to be able to react fast so what ends up happening is uh, you, uh, you you notice it. By the time you notice it, you're you're going to lose a certain amount of your grass. You're going to lose a certain area. Those roots are going to rot. They're going to die off, and they're not going to come back. Typically speaking, um, depending on how long you let it go, you could actually lose entire sections of your yard, uh, big swaths, if you will. I'll show you some more pictures of that as well. Uh, it's very deadly. It's something that you don't want to ignore. You're going to typically see it in yards that have got uh, water issues. They stay real moist. When we get big temperature swings like we've been having, it's uh, you can see it in spring and fall. However, it's a very common disease to see springtime, early summer. And the reason we say early summer is because typically it's growing and it's developing in the springtime, but it's early summer before you actually start seeing the effects and start realizing it. So. Um, uh, if you're watering too regularly, if you're cutting your grass too uh, too low, uh, there's a lot of cultural things that promote it. If your grass, if the pH is too high, just all kinds of different things like that. Uh, the way to combat this is uh, obviously you're going to want to treat it with a fungicide. You're going to want to immediately change whatever cultural habits or whatever uh, environmental conditions are present. If it's uh, a moisture problem, if there's too much water, you're going to want to figure out how to get that area drained. Uh, if it's severe enough and you do a soil sample, you might need to alter the pH. Uh, several things like that. Maybe you're watering too frequently. So one of the things you want to do is back off of your watering. You want to water irregularly and water deeper. And then you want to let things dry out. You don't want to go to drought conditions, but definitely let things dry out. We see it when people cut their grass too short. So you want to raise those mower blades. These are all common things. Another common thing is, is if you've got a thick thatch buildup, the uh, fungus lives in that thatch. So if you've got a lot of thatch, you're gonna be more prone to have the fungus. Um, uh, if you're using nitrogen or fertilizer sources that aren't slow release, uh, the fungus can feed off of that nitrogen, but that, that, that quick release, it also promotes a lot of grass growth, which is going to promote to the thatch, which is going to promote to the fungus. So uh, you wanna get on top of it. Like I said, you wanna consider dethatching the area. If you have lost all the grass in an area, you're gonna to wanna to rake that out. 
you're going to want to consider maybe getting some good topsoil, letting that grass spread, use slow-release fertilizers, change your mowing habits, mow higher, water less frequently, and just keep an eye on it. It will spread. You're not going to spread it with mowers, so your lawn company is not going to bring it from one yard to another. Uh, it is going to spread through the, the, the soil and the root systems, though, so you don't want to ignore it. Even if it's uh, it, if it's active, you especially want to get on it. If it's inactive, you still want to keep your eye out and treat that area. So if you got any questions, if you need any help, if you need any suggestions, uh, let us know. We're here to help you. Look forward to hearing from you. Y'all have a good day.